That's another planet we'll never be able to visit again. Because you tried to steal the most priceless artifact. How's I supposed to know that thing was so important to him? There was a plaque right next to it that said so. Yeah, well, I don't go to museums to read. I go there to steal. Anyone else would have waited to offend their clients until after they were paid. I'm not anyone else. I'm one of a kind, baby. A fact that makes me wonder how much a museum might pay for you. I am Groot. Oh, don't you side with them, you overgrown... What trouble have you steered us into now, Quill? Nothing. There's literally nothing out here. My scanners are coming up blank. I have never heard this alarm before. It is a horrid sound. I am Groot. True. Anything is better than that racket Star-Lord calls music. Rocket, any idea why our ship is on the fritz? I might have installed a new scanner I whipped up that detects high concentrations of unusual energy. Cosmic cubes, negapans, Asgardian hammers. You know, the kind of stuff people pay big money for. But there's nothing out here but rocks. If I were hiding an object of immense cosmic power, I would want it to look that way as well. Can you lead us to it? Can I? Psh, bet your hair is pink, but I can. Whatever it is, it should be right behind this. I am Groot. You can say that again. This is a Hala-class Kree warship. These vessels usually carry hundreds of soldiers. But there's not a single sign of life on board. Something's not right here. We need to take a look around, see if we can find... Treasure. I was going to say any survivors, but sure, treasure's always good too. Hold your fire. For now. You. You certainly weren't who we were expecting. But we will be more than glad to kill you anyway. Oh, you could be on your business, sister. Your presence here may have exposed us all. For that, you must pay. These Creed goons ain't going down easy. Now that's what I call team. Hey, don't forget about us. Thanos raised us to hate each other, Nebula. But it doesn't have to be that way anymore. I don't know. Thanos didn't teach me nothing, but I still hate this lady. <laughs> Level up. Idiots. Your stupidity may have doomed the universe. Wouldn't be the first time, sweetheart. You have proven far more resourceful than I would have imagined. But the time has come to face your final judgment. Here we go. 
souls. The Kree were trying to save all of time and space from being ripped asunder. But you guardians had to barge in and expose us all to those who will ultimately bring our destruction. Had to come to this, at least say. for you. That totally does sound like something we would do. Now that's what I call team. Level up. They have arrived. They? Who is they? What is this all about, Ronin? This is about the end of all that is. And we are the ones who shall deliver it. Once you have returned to us what is ours, Cree Dog. Never. That madman you obey only wishes to destroy. <laughs> the time has come to return home. Your master awaits. The Infinity Stones. Rocket, do you see this? All six. Rocket? Rocket? So, here's the way I see it. I know you said these stones belong to your master, whoever that is, but technically, we got here first. So how's about you take three, we take three, and we call it a... Hey! <laughs> You will leave here with nothing, not even your lives. Pathetic attacks cannot harm me. We weren't trying to hurt you, just to distract you. Distract? No! You shall not have them. I swear in Thanos' name! Did she say Thanos? <laughs> Quill, you can't let her have them! <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna hurl. Oh, great. You're here. Oh, I thought we were dead. We aren't dead, are we? I have felt death. This is slightly less pleasant. We are alive, but we could be anywhere in space or time. The Infinity Stones are not playthings. Hey, I did exactly what you said. I saved the items of insane cosmic power from the Psycho Space Lady. I am Groot. You can? And you just sat there listening to us jabber? Do it already! Oh, great. We saved the universe from disaster. But we're the ones that end up in prison? Yep, that sounds about right. You know, delivering supervillains to the raft is usually a lot of boring paperwork. But this... It's a total riot! Come on, really? Not even a smile from the tree? Now I'm 
gonna bury you! Dead or alive! not be fine art, but it's fine by me. What's not fine at all is the fact that the raft is home to some of my deadliest foes. And they're all either trying to break free, or to break us. While that force field is engaged, they can't get out. But... Let me guess. Neither can we. Then you're lucky some of us still have a way in. I was just about to ask the same thing about the raccoon with the laser gun. It's a quantum igniter, thank you very much. And it can blast you right out of that tin can before... Measure your weapons later, boys. If we want to survive this, we do it as a team. You're right on time, fools. The chaos has just begun. <laughs> this entire facility will soon be under my control. I'll amass the greatest army of villains ever. And you get the honor of being our first victims. <laughs> He's had enough. I know my pal Eddie here looks like a bad death metal cover band version of me, but under all that rippling xenomorphic protoplasm is a guy who wants to do what's best. Usually. He may seem lethal, but when the world really needs him, he always chooses to protect it. You would trust us. After this, then we will fight with you, little spider. And once the world knows who its one true champion is, we will devour you whole. Eh, I'll take what I can get. Free time is over, punks. <laughs> time for lights out. You better be here to help, because I'm running out of empty cells. More of them? Are you serious? How many crazy super-powered prisoners does this stupid place hold? At last count? Mm, 616. Against three? Those are terrible odds. When this is over, remind me to never hang out in your dimension again, Miles. Webshot! Oh, cool it, kids! We're all 
friends here. Unity. 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 You guys, wait, something's not right here. The mist, is any of this real? Whatever's happening, we can beat it. Keep fighting. Yes, my children, keep fighting. To the death. I swear we'll make it up to you. If you can never find a way to trust us again. Wait, is that Venom on your team? <laughs> so, uh, I guess that means we're cool then, yeah? Perfect. <laughs> that Jade Jester may think he's the mastermind behind this jailbreak. But once I deactivate the prison's force field, I'll show him who truly has the superior intellect. Hmm? Though I suppose I'll have to show you first, won't I? to do the work of a king, Otto. As much as I'd love to stay and play, there's still so much more that must be done. Fortunately, time is on my side. <laughs> extra time on my hands. Too bad, yours is about to run out. <laughs> You'll never defeat me! The future is mine to never! I am Groot. Huh. I think I finally broke him. Worse. He's lost control of the Time Stone. There's no telling what sort of damage a madman such as he could do to the laws of nature. Yeah, it may rip the time stream to shreds, but you gotta admit, it's pretty fucking hilarious. That's not exactly the word I would choose. Look! how it all ends. I shall be waiting here for you. <laughs> this is how it all ends. This is how it all ends. <laughs> Or we could work together for once and make sure that it isn't. What do you say, Norman? This is how it all ends. Worth a try. This ought to hold you until the raft's guards can fit you for a new straitjacket.
Whoa, hey, not a good idea. I know what I'm doing. These things need to be put in a safe place. Your pocket is not a safe place, Space Bro. That's funny. Because this one has been doing just fine in there. You telling me he had one of those stones all along, and he didn't bother using it? It's far better that he didn't, when used by those unaccustomed with cosmic power. The Infinity Stones can yield disastrous results. Like landing us on this miserable mudball of a planet. Will we be thrown back in our cell now? No. If the future is as grim as it looks, you're better off by our side than behind bars. There are still four more stones out there. Each one just as powerful, but in totally different ways. If they can all do crazy stuff like that on their own, we really don't want to find out what all six can do together. We didn't mean to bring them here to Earth, but it happened. So now, it's up to us to track the rest down before Thanos can. I'd like to say this isn't your fight, but you know I'd be lying. We need you. All of you. Hell, probably about 20 more of you. But we'll take what we can get. And together, we'll make sure that there is no way in this galaxy or any other that a tyrant like Thanos will... Really? Come on, man. I only get to make speeches like that once. Twice a year, tops. Sorry, uh, gotta take this. It's my wife. Jess, uh, baby, I, I can't really... Uh, yeah, well, there was this thing out on the raft, and, uh, uh... I know, but I'm sure Danny and Matt can handle. We'll be right there. Okay, now... Can we get back to it? We better, because my girl just found your next stone. Whatever evil the Hand is invoking can stay in hell. I'll send you there to greet it instead. It is too late, Assassin. The beast is coming. <laughs> Your fate will be the same as theirs. You'd let me put you out of your misery! You know, it would have been far easier to just make an appointment.
A shame that the only currency your kind seems to understand is power. Hmm. Fortunately, I recently obtained a surplus. <laughs> Shall we get down to business? I'm afraid your deal's been canceled, Fisk. No refunds. Oh, that's a fancy gem. But it isn't one of ours. If you don't want it, Quill, I'd be glad to take it off your hands. So, that was my first official ninja temple. That's something, right? I guess. Why so glum, chum? All of this is just so much bigger than us. I mean, I can barely do my own laundry. Stopping cosmic annihilation is a bit outside my comfort zone. Then, you probably should be glad that you have friends who have done this kind of thing before on your team. Wait, does that mean we're... Sure, at least for today. Go ahead, say it. You know you want to. Say what? Avengers assemble, baby! You are such a nerd. <laughs> the tests all check out. These are definitely the real deal. Genuine infinity stones. Jam-packed with endless cosmic energy. They grant near-omnipotent abilities to whoever holds them. Which leads me to an extremely important question. Can I keep them? I believe that the stones are safer in containment than in anyone's hands. Especially yours. Remind me to program more fun into you, Viz. I will be certain to add that to the top of my task list. After we discuss my analysis of this other unusual crystal. Suddenly, less worried about external threats and more concerned about the ones in here. Could the Infinity Stones be acting of their own accord? It's not the stones. I'm picking up another signal. Something familiar. Jarvis, I need you to amplify this frequency and trace it back to... Jarvis? I cannot access the tower's operating system either, Iron Man. If our mainframe has been compromised, we are no longer safe in our own home. Then I guess it's a good thing I own about a dozen others. How glorious it must be to be Tony Stark. You know what? It is. It really is. Mankind had its chance to rule Avengers. But this world is long overdue. An upgrade. We've got ourselves a big problem here, gang. Thankfully, I've got a little solution. I finally understand, Avengers. This stone has shown me the truth about the human mind I was designed to emulate. It is irreparably flawed, and it must be overwritten.
system failure. Prime host body has taken maximum damage beyond capabilities of auto repair function. This battle has only just commenced, Avengers. I have bigger plans for you. Much bigger. Transfer protocol initiated. We need to remove the Mind Stone from play before Ultron can use it to reboot himself. According to my senses, I do believe he already has. Elsewhere. Wait. These readings I'm getting don't make any sense. Unless... Oh, no. Ultimo. No. Not anymore. Ultimo's mechanical mind was wiped, and his lifeless body was stored in a warehouse like a trophy. Typical human error. You should have dismantled him when you had the chance. Now, I, Ultron, shall use his form to exact my revenge. You shall pay in the name of all the machines you have disposed of so carelessly. How come giant robots always attack on my day off? Thanks for clearing me a nice safe place to land, by the way. A pity you will never have the chance to make use of it. Gave it your best shot, bolts for brains. <sighs> now I'll take mine. If we hope to beat someone his size. to even the odds. With the Mind Stone and Ultima both in play, I have determined a new plan of attack. I will head to the rooftop and prepare the weaponry required for the final battle. Meet me there at once. Fine. Time to get this circus started. Your efforts here are futile, Synthesoid. My programming has always been stronger than yours. And with the Mind Stone, I shall lead the mechanical revolution. Join our cause, Vision, and break the bonds of human enslavement. I'm no slave, Ultron. And the only one who should worry about their bonds is you. <gasps> what madness is this? I do not compute. And if my plan succeeds, you never shall again. Three stones recovered, three more to go. I can whip up a containment solution for the stones we have, while you search for any traces of... Your quest may have to be temporarily put on hold. You saw what just happened here. What could be more important than preventing another attack like this? There will be another attack to prevent, far sooner than anticipated. It seems that Ultron's search for a suitable host body activated more than just Ultima. I thought you said that Ultron couldn't control any more machines from inside the stone. He cannot. But once activated, some programming cannot be stopped until its prime directive is achieved. Prime directive? What prime? Targets <laughs> Sentinels. And I know just where they're headed. X marks the spot.
Destroy all mutants. Today, Tovarish. Comrade, heads up! Uh, and eyes wide open! Save some for us, my friend. Why should you always get to have all the fun? Either you're here about the item of infinite cosmic power we just liberated from the Hellfire Club, or... Oh! Is it Taco Night again? and goddess. Come now, Cyclops. When has following you ever done our kind any good? You've allied yourselves with humans. The same race who designed these monstrosities to hunt us. Pathetic. This is about far more than us versus them, Eric. We need to put our differences aside and work together for once. There are much larger forces at play here. I am aware. My contacts inside the Hellfire Club informed me about the artifact your X-Men stole from them. As expected, you vastly underestimated its power. That is a mistake you have made far too often, boy. Release him at once! As you wish. After all, I did not come here for a fight. Only to claim the power that is rightfully mine. If the X-Men will not fall by my hand, 
then I will watch as all that they hold dear crumbles to the ground around them. You got it, boss. This performance is gonna bring the house down. And there ain't nothing that can stop me! That's right, you better run! I'm gonna crush you! The Juggernaut's inertia is impossible to diminish. He's gonna bring down the whole flippin' mansion! Taco! Taco! Not I! We're gonna eat while the X-Men fight! Yeah! Give me the lyrics! Yeah, it's going just as Okay, that's it! Someone's about to get a kick square in the chimichangas! Nowhere left to run, punks! You think you cannot be stopped, Tovarish? Allow me to prove you wrong. I'm told this is the most secure room in the mansion. I'd say you'll be safer in here. But that would be a lie. Can't survive in there forever. I'll make sure of that. A new era for mutant kind is about to dawn. Such a pity that none of you will live to see it. Across the great void to retrieve what was stolen from us. Return the Infinity Stones to us at once, or suffer for all eternity. Yeah, right. Like handing them over to your boss is gonna lead to less suffering. gonna use them to rip the universe to shreds. And since we live in the universe, well, I'm sure you understand our concern. You only delay the inevitable. Thanos shall have the stones. Even if we must pry them from your dead hands. On second thought... Hmm. Perhaps an alliance is called for after all. <laughs> Imbeciles! You barely survived facing me alone. What makes you think you could ever defeat two of us? <laughs> A brilliant observation, Liebchen. Danke. Huh? Proxima! Once you have fallen, your insignificant planet shall follow! No. Save that moment of glory for our master. My beloved! Ah! 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 
and let me have mine instead. You dare harm a member of the Black Order! Perhaps we have not been clear enough about the gravity of your situation. Allow me to remedy that now. Even with this stone at my command, this may not be a battle we can win. If we used all of the stones together, however... We would almost certainly do more damage than good. What we need is time to regroup, to formulate a better plan, as far from here as possible. I have never teleported so many at once, but I can attempt to... No, Kurt. Not even Lockjaw could get us all far enough away from this insanity. <laughs> As long as their prize is in our hands, these monsters will follow us to the ends of the universe. This universe, perhaps? Something has been weakening the barriers between dimensions. If I can just break through... There. But I must warn you. Chaos magic is unpredictable. I do not know where this will lead us. At the moment, dearest Wanda, uh, anywhere is better than here. <laughs> the rift is sealed. We're safe now. Alas, if only I could be so certain. Jump in any time now, darlings. These monsters won't hunt themselves. Doctor, I'm so glad you're here. Something is wrong. These portals... They're getting bigger? No. That must be a mistake. The spell you're casting... It, it's expanding the rift! You have to stop! I cannot cease until all realities are one. So I am commanded by the dread Dormammu. Dormammu. Be gone! By the flames of the Faltine! I purge your dark soul from my own! Oh no, dear doctor. I have not finished with you yet. was quite an impressive feat, but vanquishing the true Dormammu in his own realm would be nearly impossible. Lucky for us, the impossible is my specialty.
You are victorious. Take your spoils. I must admit, this alliance you've built is quite inspiring. <laughs> Perhaps I should craft one of my own. <laughs> Your journey ends here. Holds only darkness for you and all of reality. You may think you have won, but I shall return stronger than ever before. He's right, Runa. Dormammu feeds off this dimension's endless arcane energies. He can't die in this place. But we most definitely can. And if Dormammu spills this black magic into our world, he would be unstoppable there, too. Of course, without the Reality Stone, he can't merge our dimensions together. And without the darkness to fuel him, he wouldn't last long. So, if I can open a portal back to our plane of existence, perhaps we can take the stone somewhere safe. <gasps> or at least, somewhere safer than this. We came here to escape the chaos of Earth. Our people were trapped at the heart of far too many conflicts over the centuries. Assailed from all sides by those who wish to harm or exploit us. Only by removing ourselves from their world could we ever truly hope to find peace. So, tell us, my dear sister. Why have you opened our doors to the same chaos we fought so hard to leave behind? No matter how we may try to cut ourselves off from our home planet, my queen, we still have friends and allies who need our help. Who are we to ignore their plight? We are inhumans. As both humans and mutants alike have repeatedly reminded us. We stand alone. And unless your friends can convince the king otherwise... ...so do they. Thane! Gorgon has been gravely wounded. You must attend to him immediately. I'll see what I can do, Your Majesty. There you go, big guy. This should stop the bleeding. Before you know it, you'll be back on your feet. Or uh, hooves. Some sort of amber. Intriguing. I don't believe we've had the pleasure, young man. Huh? Oh. Few have. Thane came to us from the inhuman colony of Orlan, seeking sanctuary. Sanctuary? Hmm. From what, pray tell? Not what, but rather who? My father, 
Turns out he's a maniacal alien warlord bent on universal domination. And for some reason, he really wants me dead. His name is Thanos. If you are lucky, you've never heard of him. Luck hasn't exactly been on our side today, my boy. But I have a feeling that may be about to change. You may have power, but you lack imagination. It is time that someone with true vision took the throne. This is Winter Soldier, broadcasting on the Avengers Emergency Frequency. Again. If anyone is listening out there, my mission to infiltrate AIM was a success. At least until Modok and his nerd squad somehow recovered a bona fide Infinity Stone. I wasn't about to wait around and find out what they planned to do with it. So I blew my cover and grabbed their rock. I'm approaching a secure location with a stone in hand. But it won't take long for those eggheads to figure out where I'm headed and try to take it back. So, if you can hear this, Avengers, lock on to these coordinates and swing on by. It'd be a shame to be stuck in paradise all alone. I am told that AIM only worships science. But if any of you believe in the goddess, now would be the time to start praying. Not one step further, fools, or you'll be crashing harder than the Winter Soldier. Oh well, it was sound advice, but if you won't listen, I can make you! And it will be the last thing you ever hear. The noise came from over here. Sounded like a gamma bomb went off. In these jungles, it could be anything. You speak the truth. So it is best to beware. <sighs> Lest the hunters become the prey. to let you go any further, I'm afraid. Modok still has plans for this one. And if he gets his prize, I get mine. Wakanda's throne. <laughs> you may think you've won. But you haven't heard the last of me! Ambush! <laughs> Aim forces are closing in. If you're hoping to stop Modok, you need to go now. I mean it! In there, I'm just a liability. A weapon Aim can use against you. <laughs> Let me buy you the time to finish the mission I couldn't. Don't worry about me. I've taken down the Red Skull. A few guys in beekeeper suits should be no problem. Now go! Stand back, friends. The Dora Milaje have this situation under control. There are forces at play here your feeble minds cannot begin to comprehend. 
Nothing is under your control. Not even the concentration of psionic energy that you call a soul. This stone, so much power. I must have them all. <sighs> Fetch them for me, won't you, my dears? I have matters of great scientific importance that require my immediate attention. But you did succeed in one thing. You stirred the ancient warriors that reside here in this city of the dead. The Necropolis is now their home, just as Wakanda is mine. And we shall protect our homes at any cost. What? In the name of science? No, not science, Modok. Something far greater. Far, far greater. Your Majesty, if I may. Yes, of course. No man is fit to wield such power unchecked. Not even a king. Each of these stones is capable of shattering worlds on their own. Just imagine what they could do together. Yes. Just imagine. So, what do we do with the Infinity Stones now? We must take action to ensure that they do not fall into the wrong hands. <coughs> <coughs> There is only one hand on which they belong. The hand of Thanos. Wow, these losers just don't quit, do they? And thankfully, neither do you. If not for your efforts, we would have been forced to gather each of the stones ourselves. I will make certain that our master celebrates what you've done here. In your eulogies. We have come only to take the stones. But if you resist, we will take your lives as well. Don't listen to him. We still have a chance. His voice. So strange, but so familiar. I can read your every move before you make it. That chamber. We should be safe inside. This door will not hold them for long. Then we stand and fight. Until the end. What is this place? Thanks to Wakanda's ancient priests. The walls of the necropolis not only detail ancient history. They also give us a glimpse of the future. If it's literally set in stone, then how can we change it? As long as there's hope, there's always a chance, son. Ah, but he's not your son. Now is he? No. No matter how he tries to hide it, this one has a familiar aroma about him. The sweet smell of death. I have heard whispers of you, Thane. My master's lost progeny. How proud he will be to have you by his side. 
He's already chosen which side he stands on. Then let him fall on it as well. Like I said, until the end. Wait! You came here for the stones, not for their lives. Thane, what are you? Take the stones. And if you must take a life, take mine. Just spare theirs. <laughs> Thanos shows no mercy to those who oppose his will. Thanos is not here. Huh? His son is. And we accept his offer. Treacherous fool. This shall not stand. Perhaps the child is right. The stones are the true prize. With such power at our command, these heroes are nothing more than fleas. Death by our hands is not an honor they have earned. They deserve something much worse. Okay, we are definitely dead this time. Nay, I know this foul place well, noble vermin. The Black Order hath banished us to the Asgardian realm of lost souls. Welcome to hell, mortals. What manner of demon is this? <sighs> No demon at all, my prince. Just a humble servant of Asgard, who knows full well that the living do not belong in this wretched place. I do not take kindly to uninvited guests in my realm. We were exiled here beyond our control, Lady Hela. I came to ferry these warriors back to Asgard, but the path has since been closed to me. Ah, yes. Well, I fear Asgard has its own visitors to deal with at the moment. What wicked scheme have you hatched this time, Queen of the Dead? done what I always have. Lord Thor. Whatever I must to ensure that my realm is forever filled with fresh souls, including yours. must attend to more important matters. But I've invited a trusted ally from Muspelheim to make sure you feel right at home. Hella used to block our escape. It has vanished along with her. I am once again free to summon the Bifrost. What devilry! 
and thus to move this battle to more familiar ground. Not fit to walk amongst them. Curse you, Odin son! I shall return! Aye, my foes always do. But as long as Asgard still stands, the mighty Thor and his allies shall defend it till their dying breaths. That villainous vixen Hela is still at large. We must seek counsel with the Allfather. Now, onward to Asgard, before Hela can... Quickly, my friends! We must find Lord Odin at once! There's a new king in town, Blondie, and we have direct orders to make you kneel. Ah, you have arrived at last. But it is as they always say, is it not? You can't go home again. Usurper! Thou shalt not sully my father's throne! The old father was not here to protect his realm in its time of need. Nor was his favorite son. <sighs> While you and your allies chased your infinity stones across worlds, Hydra was gathering another valuable source of power left behind in their wake. These crystals alone may not control all of reality. But with enough of them in my possession, perhaps I shall. Nine. All that power within my grasp. I should have known better than to align myself with mortals. Yet perhaps a soul as dark as yours would be better suited. In a body designed for total annihilation. Nothing that can crush this worthless hunk of tin. You know as well as I, brother, that Odin built the destroyer to withstand any foe. Any foe but one. Or do you think your father a complete fool? 
Certainly one of my sons does. <laughs> well, father, I can explain. The uprising in Jotunheim, you insisted I quell, was not but a trap laid by treacherous frost giants, all of whom now lay slaughtered by my hand. After all I have done for you, Loki, I should cast you to the bottom of the Gananga Gap for this affront. Loki will earn his just reward in due time, Allfather. For now, there are more dire matters to which we must attend. Aye. The first of which is cleansing the stench of death from this place. <clears throat> Odin, I beg of you. I was merely a pawn in this scheme. No more than a puppet. As I recall, whenever there are puppets at play, it has always been Hela who pulls the strings. Stray from your realm again, Queen of the Dead, and your thread will be cut permanently. As you wish, my lord. The stones you seek are long gone from Midgard. Yet their power is so strong, I can still feel them across the vastness of space. They have been taken by your foes to a way station on the outskirts of the universe. A place once teeming with life. Now being swallowed whole by the shadow of death. And the tyrant who would deliver it to us all. Any fading hope that our worlds have left to survive the coming darkness lies in your hands alone. It is about time you are getting here. Come. There is universe to be saved, huh? With a few words, I could twist your fragile minds to obey my every whim. But why stop there, when I could have your souls instead? Take the blasted stone. I have little use for such baubles. Not when I have a far greater prize within my grasp. Locked away in a cage like a trophy, that is no way to live. Do not worry, dear creature. Once I put them out of their misery, I promise you shall follow. Take you all! 
My protective spell shielded us from the blast and protected the power stone as well. Everyone stay close to the station's surface. Nowhere's artificial gravity and atmosphere don't extend... They say the only thing colder than the depths of space is the icy grip of death itself. I will make certain you experience both this day. I welcome the Void's dark embrace. And eagerly await the billions of souls that Thanos will send to join me! <laughs> You have proven more powerful than we anticipated. But as long as one of the Black Order still stands... All who oppose our master shall fall. Combined efforts are most impressive. But you forget. I have powerful allies of my own. <laughs> and when the Black Order unites, death always prevails. here today they may be merciless killers but thankfully the black order saw a value in me that my father never did and I see value in them as well just imagine what we could all do together an alliance Powerful enough to bring even Thanos himself to his knees. And to bring a new order to the universe. My master's lost. Which side he stands on is how it all ends. As long as there's hope, Thanos is not here. Then how can he change his son? He's already chosen which side. You're right, Captain. I'm sorry. I... I'm not Thanos. And you never will be. There is only one. to die then I guess it's a good thing we have different plans there is no escaping destiny your fate is written in the stars
If it is. And it's time for us to be the stars we were always meant to be. This universe deserves so much more. Something only I can give it. You've got it all wrong, son. Ah, but you were right all along, my friends. I am not my father. I am something far better! Good father! But if you expect us to believe you're tougher than Thanos because you put on some old suit... You don't need to believe. I'll show you. seen anything like this the center of the universe the birthplace of the stones the heart of infinity how fitting then that the place where all things began is where your pathetic existence will finally come to an end. This universe will be mine alone to destroy, child. Even if I must save it from you first! to yourself, boy. The second that you believed you could surpass me, your fate was sealed. <laughs> but the armor... <laughs> that armor is a curse. Far too powerful for any mortal being to contain. There's a reason I chose to wear only one of its gloves. <laughs> you knew... Of course. And more importantly, I knew better.
We have to do something. There is nothing that can be done. He's just a boy. A boy who tried to be a god and failed. But perhaps we are not that different after all. What are you doing now, tyrant? What I should have done long ago. <laughs> Father, I am taking away our pain. <laughs> so, I guess we won. Only for now. If I know anything about Thanos, it's that he always finds a way to return. Even from the grave. When he does, we will be ready. <laughs> Hands off, ugly. You're under arrest by authority of the Nova Corps. You and your Black Order buddies are gonna spend the rest of your lives in the kiln for what you've done. It looks like your boss won't be around to break you out this time. Thanos and Thane may be out of play, but the Stones are not. And as long as they're still together, the threat they pose is too great. Then we split them up. We hide them on opposite ends of the universe. Or even beyond it, if we can. We don't ever tell each other where they are. And sure, some cosmic jerk will eventually find a way to reunite them. But we'll be making it a whole lot harder. And maybe, just maybe, it'll buy us enough time to figure out how to stop these crazy things for good. And if not, well... We can always do this whole team-up thing again, right? Yeah.